The rules are different in a civil case versus a criminal case. Family law cases, for the most part, apply civil laws. Here, we illustrate what to expect when you go to court in a family law case. While most cases end up in a settlement with all parties signing an agreement that resolves all issues like child-related, money, house, assets, and debts, settling the case between you and the other party is generally the best option. But when the other side is uncooperative, sometimes you have no choice but to take your case to court. You and your attorney will define the issue, gather enough supporting evidence and witnesses, and formulate a plan for presenting to the court. Trials are similar to what you see on TV. Each attorney will present an opening statement to the judge explaining what they anticipate the evidence will show. Witnesses will be called by both sides and cross-examined by the other. Evidence will be presented to the court to help both sides articulate their view of their case. The judge may ask some questions of both parties. At the end, both attorneys will give closing statements to the judge that will explain the facts as presented, apply them to the law, and argue for a particular outcome. Be sure to coordinate with your attorney at every step before and after the court. How you look and sound in court could influence your case, so think about that when planning what you'll wear that day. Think business professional or fancy restaurant. Here are some helpful tips. Don't wear shorts and flip-flops. Don't wear t-shirts with offensive language on them or illegal drug symbols. No matter what, you need to be at court on time. Courthouse security. Some courts allow you to bring smartphones and some don't. If the court allows a smartphone, make sure to silence them. When you arrive, locate your assigned courtroom. You'll see that there are many cases scheduled for court at the same time. When you get to your assigned courtroom, you should go to the front courtroom and let the court's clerk know that you're there. If your attorney has not arrived yet, just wait in the courtroom. If your case is called before your attorney is present, just stand up and let the court know you are here. Your attorney may be tied up in another courtroom. When your case is called, you will most likely come up and stand before the judge. When you approach the judge, you will likely have to take an oath that your testimony will be truthful. Always be respectful to the court and speak up so the judge can hear you. Answer any questions truthfully, make eye contact, and keep your cool. Please be sure not to banter with the other party when you're in the court. While TV dramas show parties yelling and fighting in front of the judge is acceptable, it is not. Your only comments can be made directly to the court. Resist the urge to say something to the court when no question has been asked. Your lawyer is there and will communicate on your behalf. If you have something that is important to say, run those with your lawyer by whispering first. Your attorney will let you know if you should say them or stand there silently. Your lawyer is looking out for your best interests, so you need to follow their lead. At the end of the trial, the judge will decide the outcome. Sometimes, the judge can make a ruling then and there. Other times, the judge needs to go back and review all the evidence and will make a ruling at a later time. If you have a divorce or family law situation that requires help from a family law attorney, we invite you to contact us or schedule a consultation.